All right, uh, you ready with Against the Grain, McLovin? Yes. Speaking of singing, I guess, there is there a musical accompaniment? There is. We don't have the budget to be able to pay for this song, so we have to sing a song? Is that what we're doing? We are, we're close. Okay, what do we have here? Hit the music. <laughs> Who let the underdogs out? Who? 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 I'm not going to go any further. We couldn't afford the rights to Who Let the Dogs Out. Okay. So that's a, the best we could do. Okay. Okay. So Dan, I'm going to give you reasons. Underdog, who that, let the underdogs out? Yeah, who let the underdogs okay. out? All four underdogs have a great oh, chance oh, oh. of covering the spread this weekend. Okay. Let's start with the Colts Patriots. The Colts spread the field with four wide receivers, run up the gut where the Patriots are injured and vulnerable. I like Donald Brown to have a huge game. Now, the rain concerns me there because you can't really spread the field if you can't throw. And Andrew Luck scrambles because the Patriots can't stop scrambling quarterbacks. See the Cam Newton game. I like the Colts to keep this close. What do you think? Any chance? Who let the underdogs out? Hit the music. (laughs) Chargers, Broncos. Chargers use the same formula they used before. Run it right down the gut as well against Denver's injured defense. Von Miller out. Melvin Ingram in for the Chargers. It's a very, very dangerous game. Let's face it, the Chargers have the Broncos offensive coordinator, Mike McCoy, as their head coach. I really see this as a close game, and it's no offense to Peyton Manning. I think when you take out Peyton Manning, the Chargers have a lot of advantages here. I think it's going to be a real close game. I'm going to go on to the Saints game. Saints jump out to an early lead and run the ball. Yes, the New Orleans Saints run the ball with Mark Ingram like they did last week. Give Sean Payton a second chance. Mm. Jimmy Graham will have a much better game. He did Mm. nothing last time. I think when you play against a great coach in the second game, much different. And lastly, the Panthers should not be underdogs in this game. I'm not saying I'm definitely picking them to win, but they shut Colin Kaepernick down so bad last time. 91 yards passing, 16 yards running. Panthers defense healthy, rested. This should really be the Panthers favored by at least three points. Well, here's the key. Steve Smith's maybe 60% according to him. I got Luke Keekley who's got to be able to cover Vernon Davis. And the difference with the Niners is I got Michael Crabtree back. That's a big, big, big addition for Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, but they're not going to give Kaepernick time to find those guys. Mm. The Panthers defensive line, Greg Hardy. Okay. It's a killer. I mean, I'm not saying I'm picking them. Actually a killer? No, 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 oh, no, okay. no, no, no. This isn't uh, the Patriots. Okay. All right, thank you. Let's hit the reggae one okay. more time, see? Who, 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 who let, let those underdogs, underdogs out? Who, woof, 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 woof. It took two hours for you to prepare that? Well, the whole time we thought we had the Baja men under rights, and then the last second, the legal department called us oh. and said, no go. Oh, those Baja guys. Baja boys. All right, when we come back... Baja lawyers are no joke, apparently. Baja, ha, ha, ha.